Today we're talking about substrings. And this is the first in a short series of videos I'm going to do on C-sharp string manipulation that will for sure cover substrings, index of, and split. And might cover some other string manipulation things like starts with and ends with and so on. The, one of the main uses of uh, string manipulation that I use almost on a daily basis is to read in a parameter file and then that sets up global values for uh, variables that control the program and that sets up an initial state of the program and I'm going to show how to write such a parameter file in the follow-on videos. There are two basic formats for substring. You take the string name which is the variable name that's a string and a dot operator and then say substring a parent index comma and a length and that will take a substring from the index like the first character in the string will be zero and the fifth character in the string will be four and so on and it takes a substring from that index of the length of the second parameter the other format of the substring is to just have an index without the length and in that case it takes a substring from the index to the end of the string uh, two other functions that are probably of interest that I show in the program are convert dot to int32 with the parameter of a string representation of a number. So if you have a number like 123, it'll take it from being a string and convert it to an integer, put it in an integer variable. And the other one is string dot format, which the first parameter is in quotation marks and is a format string. And within the format string you have like curly brace 0, curly brace, curly brace 1, curly brace. And these uh, placeholders map into arguments that come after the string. The arg 0, arg 1, arg 2, and so on up to however many arguments you want to insert into the string. And this is identical to the uh, console.write line with a format string that we saw when we were writing console programs. The program itself basically has an input string which I pre-populated with now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their party. And then you can specify either of the two formats by specifying a start index and a length. And then you press get substring and it'll put the substring of what you put in in uh, the second text field down here. And you also have a clear button where you can clear out these uh, fields to start over again with a clean slate. And if we look at the code, the main code for the substring is this format, which is the single parameter format, which we get if there's nothing in the length text field. So the text field dot text dot length is equal to zero because there's nothing in it. And then the second format is the two parameter format, which specifies both an index and the length. And you can see in both of these we use a convert to n32 to convert the uh, fields, uh, text fields into uh, integers and put them in an integer variable. And to print out the substring, we use the string dot format, and then a message that or a format string that has the uh, uh, input uh, string uh, variable dot substring, and then the parameters with the curly braces and zero and one and the corresponding uh, values to be inserted into those placeholders. So if we compile and run this program and I specify say an index of 0 which would be the first character in now and then a length of 3 and I do get substring you see it shows the word now and this label in red shows what the actual format of the substring was to get that and I could say, uh, if I clear this out, say start from 11, which I think is the beginning of time. <laughs> and then don't specify a length. 
and then do git substring and you see it gets from the beginning of time and all of the rest of the string and this is the way the string format looks to get that well I hope you found this uh, interesting and informative and don't forget to subscribe